Okay, so I'm Volt, and uh, I'm here with uh, Jog Viking today, and we're here Hi. to start the first video out of um, a set of mass videos that we plan to release um, that are basically intended to help players in our community um, get get better at the game. Um, today's video is going to be uh, just about the fundamentals for each character in the game. Um, so this video was intended for uh, new players that are pretty much entirely new to the game, have no prior knowledge, so if you're um, more of an advanced player, this video is probably not for you. Um, but anyway, uh, let's get to it. So... That was a good intro. Thanks. Yeah. So each character in the game has a combo. Most combos have three parts, um, except for Darth Maul's and... Malls. Malls has six parts, and um, but for example, a combo is just sitting still or walking forward or any direction with your character, pressing your attack button. Um, you can obviously just tap once, and you can one strike, tap twice, you can two strike, three strike, so on. For OE1, his combo will one shot all normal health characters like this mall as you see with vader you can't kill him because vader has uh, more hp and obi's combo just doesn't have the damage for that um, each character also has what's called a backslash which means which is when you're uh, walking backwards and you press the attack button at the same time Every single backslash for each character does the same amount of damage, so it's going to do two-thirds of their health, um, except if they're a Vader or a Grievous or a Count Dooku. But every backslash has the same amount of damage. Um, each character also was, has what's called an aerial attack, which is you're jumping in the air, you're pressing the attack button. Then they also have a dash attack, which is obviously if you're, you're if you're sprinting and you uh, press the attack button at the same time as you're sprinting. So now that you know which kind of move sets each character has, we're gonna uh, move into what's unique about each character. So as we've already we've already discovered, Obi Wan's combo can only one shot um, normal health Jedi like. Uh, Maul, Anakin, any of the heroes. Um, for Vader, Grievous, and Dooku, he has to backslash and then combo in order to uh, kill them completely. Uh, a unique thing about Obi-Wan is that when he's dash attacking, he actually can block. So if you would stand over there for me, Viking, so try to push me when I dash attack towards you. You see that I block it like that. Nice block. But um, uh, if you if cut you, the clips, <laughs> <laughs> well, I, that's actually good that it happened because um, if you towards the end of the year dash tag animation as Obi Wan, um, you don't get the block. It's only like toward, at the start and during the middle of the animation where you get it. And this is obviously true for Anakin on the Anakin and Kylo Ren on, on the villain side as well, since they have the uh, same exact animations. Um, so, in, in Force, Luke's actually one of the more uh, commonly picked characters. He's considered overpowered in the Force community. Um, he has a one-hit aerial. His combo also one-shots anybody, so um, if you switch to Vader for me, quick. One-shot Vader. However, you see that if I one-shot aerial him, he still has one tick of uh, damage. So, pretty much each... Every, any any aerial um, in the game will not one shot Vader or Grievous. Um, it does one. This loose aerial does one shot Count Dooku though, and uh, any other Jedi between besides Vader and Grievous. Um, and his dash attack is also a one shot at the uh, end here. If you see that final strike, if you hit that, that's gonna one shot. <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, so Mace's combo one shots anyone in the game, just like Luke. Um, so it can one shot Vader and Grievous as well. His aerial um, does area of effect damage and also one shots any normal health Jedi if you land right on top of them. Uh, however, if they're blocking, if they're perfect blocking, um, your aerial does a little bit more uh, over, a little bit over quarter health damage, as you can see. Um, and then also, so if I were to aerial right here, you can see that I still do air effect damage to him, and it increases uh, depending on how it increases or decreases depending how close or far away I am from the enemy. Um, so if he was low health, I could just aerial anywhere near him and kill him just like that. Then his dash attack uh, on vanilla was probably one of the hardest dash attacks to use. Um, but if you are playing on the patch, it's pretty nice, as I'll show you. So the first part like this is going to tumble the enemy and then the second part is kind of like the last part of his combo so you see that tumbles him and I can finish him off like that after he's tumbled. So for Yoda he had his entire combo um, one shots normal Jedi will not one shot Vader or Grievous, I believe. Um, usually the most efficient way to kill people with Yoda is either to do the first part of his backslash, or first part of his dash attack and then backslash, or backslash and then do the quick first part of your combo. So next we have Ayla. So if you're playing on the, on the patch, um, she is now a viable hero pusher character. Um, so all three parts of her combo are going to one-shot anybody in the game. Her dash attack also one-shots anyone, anyone in the game. And your aerial one-shots anyone in the game besides Vader and Grievous. Okay, but now we're going to demonstrate uh, Vader. So Vader also has a three-hit combo. And kills uh, any normal health Jedi in one shot. His aerial is pretty much a guaranteed tumble in almost all situations, uh, but it only does two thirds of your health. Um, his dash attack is also a guaranteed tumble in almost every situation, uh, but it also only does two thirds health. So the only thing that one shots Invader's kit is his combo. Next we have Asajj Ventress. Um, she does. She, she also has a three-part combo that one-shots any normal health Jedi, um, and she has a one-shot aerial. What's unique about Asajj is that, uh, like Obi and Anakin dash, her aerial blocks uh, the entire time she's in the air until she hits the crowd. So small if you try to push me while I'm in the air. While I'm in the air. <laughs> there we go. Um, her dash attack has two parts. The first part um, is pretty much a guaranteed tumble, and then if you hit the second part, it's actually a tumble too. You just have to hit it at the right spot. Um, but her, da her dash attack is also really unique, um, being that you can dash forward and then you can press another direction after that and pretty much go in any direction you want so you can dash forward and have the second part go back um, or to the side or be forward however um, the best way to use her dash tag if you're just going to one shot somebody is if uh, small could you stand on the ground for a second over here is actually to um, hit the first part of your dash tag sorry I set up and then you're not going to want to press down at all on your keys for the second part so you're just going to do the first part let go of your left stick or um, W key on your keyboard and she'll just stand in place and do her second part on top of the tumbled person from the first part and that'll one shot 
So I'll just do it one more time. I didn't get the one shot because he was off the building, but you get the point. Darth Maul is the only character in the game that has um, more than three hits on his, on his combo. And the unique part about Darth, uh, Darth Maul's combo is that if you hold your um, attack button down on his sixth strike, it's going to do this that little twirly strike at the end there, which is great for tumbling people. His entire, com his entire combo actually tumbles people really well. Um, but yeah, you do his whole combo. It's a one shot to normal health characters. He also has a one hit aerial, and his aerial is also uh, a guaranteed some tumble in most situations. Attack also is a, t uh, is a tumble in most situations as well. It only does um, two thirds damage though. As you can see. Next, I'm going to demonstrate the Emperor. Um, the Emperor has a three part combo that one shots most characters. The first two hits, if you're walking forward, are going to tumble uh, the opponent. It's kind of a hard combo to use. Um, gets me, takes me getting used to. I forgot to mention this on Vader um, as well, and this this applies to Count Dooku too. When you get to him, um, when you're backslashing with a character like Emperor Vader Dooku, you're going to want to walk forward. So as you can see, I walked forward to press my backslash, and then I walked forward so I could get the tumble there and the damage. Um, Emperor's dash attack is pretty much a guaranteed tumble on enemies. And his aerial is a lot like Mace Windu's that I showed you earlier. Um, where it's a area of effect damage. The only exception is that it's it does half HP um, if you're anywhere in the radius of um, of the aerial. And since it's flying, Dooku has the same aerial as Vader, so it's gonna do that two thirds health damage and uh, tumble. Then he also has the same backslide as I showed you with the Emperor. And his combo one shots. If you're playing on the patch, his backslash is going to do the last hits of his combo. His regular combo looks like this three parts. The last part of it is a guaranteed tumble. Um, and his aerial can also one shot. His dash attack is a lot like Obi's, uh, being that you can block incoming pushes and attacks to try to push me while I'm dashing. And right there you see he got me at the end of the animation so it went, actually went through my, my dash attack. And his dash attack also tumbles in most situations as well. Alright, so another detail are about each character is they each have two force powers. With the exception of Grievous, he just has damage increase as his force power. Um, so Darth Maul, Asajj Venturus, and currently every single one of the hero's characters all have force push. Which looks like that. If, they're on, if you're on even ground as them, it's going to tumble them. And then small if you just stand up on that canopy for me. If you push them up, it's going to send them up into the air. Likewise, if you're looking down at them, it's going to tumble them as well. That's the basics of um, pushing in the angles. And then every character except for Dooku, Emperor, and Asajj Venturus also have saber throw. 
each saber hit does two, uh, a third of damage to the enemy. So it takes three saber throws total to kill somebody. Um, and the range is pretty far, so it's good at eliminating people at long range. Oh, Vader, Anakin, um, Emperor, and Dooku all have what's called Force Choke, which holds the enemy in place. And they're like rendered useless for the entire time they're choked. Um, you can walk up to them, combo them, kill them. Uh, the only disadvantage to Force Choke is that, as you can see, it severely immobilizes you. To counter that, um, we use what's called Infinite Choke, which is choking and then swapping the saber throw. And as you can see, I can move around, I can sprint, I can do whatever I want. Since the new patch... Choke is also yeah. unblockable. Yeah, Choke is also unblockable. Thanks for, telling me. Thanks for explaining that. Push you can block, choke you cannot. You can also block lightning, as you can see. But if he's blocking and I try to choke. Um, Emperor and Dooku, if they choke, they only have to press the choke button uh, and they can move around freely as with the patch. Um, they can also choke and lightning at the same time if you stop the lightning while you're choking somebody. Lightning takes a little bit of force power and uh, does minimal health to, to the enemy. It's kind of like a mid weapon. It's a really good slow health enemies. So Asajj Ventress has force a uh, force power that's unique to her called Star Blades. Um, they're just they're really fast moving projectiles. They kind of spread out to this fan pattern you see. Um, they ricochet off buildings. Like that. Um, and they also can be... Once you hit an enemy with them, they do initial damage, and then they're stuck. And after a few seconds, they do exploding damage. They're best to use at short to mid-range, just because of the, sp the spread on them is so enormous. Like if I'm trying to hit someone at that building over there, or on the Altigon, you can see how big that spread is. It'd be really hard. So you usually want to use this ability um, on someone that's already tumbled or someone that's in close range and you know you're going to get a guaranteed hit on, hit on them. Oops. Not like that. I think that does it for this video. Um, as always, if there's any questions, let me or any other Mask Mentor know in our DMs and we'll be glad to help you. Thanks for watching.